Hey, what's up? I'm back again. You can never get rid of me that easily. Actually, you probably can, but I don't know. I don't want to talk about that. All right, so uh, I'm here for my second video, and I've decided to do another Batman story, but I am going to uh, review a Batman story. That is also part of the inspiration for the Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice movie. And I'm really excited for it. Uh, I'm planning on seeing it in, in uh, theaters. Don't know when. I'm hoping I can do it on the day that it's, that it's out in theaters. But if not, maybe a day or two after. Who knows. But... But this book it has been a huge inspiration, and it's very history-making. So, you know, I could just sit here and just talk and talk and talk and not even talk about the comic, you know. So, here it is. Boom. Batman, The Dark Knight Returns. This was done by Frank Miller. With Klaus Jansen and Lynn Varley. Obviously done by DC Comics. Yep. Okay. I didn't do that in my last video, but just in case if people were like, is Batman DC more? You know? And trust me, I've heard that question before. You'd be surprised. Anyways, uh, this story is actually takes place uh, way after Batman's career. This was about 10 years after he had retired. He's in his 50s. <clears throat> you know, and he's just, you know, just going through punches Bruce Wayne, and, you know, and he, and he really does miss it. And... And, uh, you know, and Gotham has it changed, or even Gotham's gotten worse, because there's a new gang out called the Mutants, and, and, uh, and, you know, and he's been out of the game for so long that it's keep nagging at him to come back. There's a moment in this book where he is, like, you know, because, like, he had a mustache, Kind of like how I'm grown one, or a beard, but I got shaved anyways. Uh, you know, he had a mustache, and, and, you know, because the call of Batman, I guess I can call it. Be Batman again. Okay. <laughs> anyways, uh, that I guess the call of Batman was just, keep calling it. That he actually shaved his mustache, and he didn't even know that he did it. Because, like, Alfred was like, hey, where's your mustache? And he's like, what? You know, he didn't even know that he shaved it. You know. And then he came back, and he's just darker, grittier. And, you know, and he's extremely violent. And, you know. Yeah, and it's a very different Batman story, you know, it's, you know, because I know, like, he, you know, in the first book, he fights Two-Face. Next one, he fights the Mutants. Uh, the third book, he fights the Joker. In the fourth book, he fights da -da -da -da, Superman. And... And in this book also, they had a uh, new Robin called uh, Carrie Kelly. You know, she was uh, she was actually introduced in this, and uh, and she has a uh, slingshot that she, you know, you know, but she was just so inspired by Batman and. That she put on a Robin costume and they're going around, and then you know she you know she helps Batman out 
and got him into the Batmobile and all this after his first attempt at fighting the mutants and the mutant leader. And, you know, and so, you know, Batman just kind of like, yeah, I'm Bruce Wayne, you know, and Alfred's like, are you, the, like, like, sir, you're delirious, <laughs> you, know, uh, you know, so, you know, you know, Bruce kind of takes her under his wing, you know, kind of like he did with Dick Grayson, Jason Todd, you know, and so, you know, this is, this is definitely something, I mean, this is like a different kind of cover than what most people might show you, because this is the, I don't know if you guys can see this, but 10th anniversary edition, uh, you know, my mom got this when I was, uh, nine years old, uh, you know, and so, you know, so this was the 10th anniversary edition. So I've read this when I was nine years old. Let me tell you, this blew my nine-year-old mind. <laughs> uh, you know, and I really liked it, you know. Uh, you know, and it also, it helped make Batman darker. It helped, you know... It, you know, Frank Miller did a terrific job with this. Great artwork. And... <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry. Still trying to get over a cold. <laughs> uh, you know, and I just remember, I was like, wow, you know. <clears throat> you know, I was like, man, you know, this is not the whole Super Friends, Batman and Superman be best buddies and... You know, and it's a very different take, you know, and, and I'm like, wow, Batman versus Superman, you know, I really loved it, like, you know, that was something that blew my mind, and, and it really got me believing that Batman can beat Superman, you know, it was, you know, and, and so that was like the biggest part in this book was Batman fighting Superman, you know, I mean, and there's a Joker that comes back, you know, and he's very psychotic, you know, and he's, you know, and he just, you know, he, oh, man, he murders a lot of people in this book, um, uh, yeah, by the way, I'm sorry about my glasses, I just, yeah, I just kind of figured out about the glare for my glasses, so I hope you guys can see my eyes good. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, you know, and this really helps set up. Like, you know, without this book, there probably wouldn't have been a lot of the movies or, you know, or, or the way comics are right now. Because it really got Batman right down to the dark roots. Like, like really made Batman dark again. You know, I mean, with all due respect to the Adam West series, you know, you know, this really set it apart from that, you know. You know, so you won't see Batman going, do 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 in this book. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I do have to say this is a must read, five out of five, and, uh, you know, and I can't wait for the Batman vs. Superman movie and see, you know, what parts of their fights and, you know, things like that might be incorporated in this and what we might see. Uh, that's why I'm very excited. And there are also two animated movies. The Dark Knight Returns Part 1 and Part 2. Like, this one is kind of like books one and two, this one's like books three and four, and it pretty much goes almost exactly how it is in the, uh, in the book, you know, like the Batman year one, but with some minor differences, so, 
if you haven't picked this up yet, do it now. Just, you know, when you get the money, pick this up. You know, because, you know, you'll definitely see some of this being influenced, like influencing The Dark Knight Rises, now Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice, and, you know, it, you know, because, you know, this, this, like, really also changed the whole relationship of Batman versus, uh, of Batman and Superman, you know, so, I mean, uh, I hope you guys like it, please, uh, subscribe, comment, say you like it, say you hate it, I don't care, let me know, I'd love to know what, uh, what do you guys think, and I shall try to put my next video up soon, All right, have a nice day, and peace out.